So I'm going to talk today about some of the incidents in that, uh, in, that art, in, that, in that series of chapters. I'm not going to talk about the whole issue of the gold standard versus the silver standard versus the fiat standard. We're going to get to that when we do international monetary. So I'm just going to put that aside. Um, I am going to talk about the national banking system. And so let's just start here. This is one of the charts that he has in the uh, in, in, in one of the chapters, where he's showing there, there are sorts of uh, three groups of banks there. New York, Chicago, and St. Louis, he says, are special. They, they are required by law to hold 25% reserves. And you can see that he's showing their deposits, 825 uh, millions of dollars, okay, in deposits in New York, 262 in Chicago, 116 in St. Louis. These are the main banking cities in the United States. There is no central bank at the time that he's writing this. This is before the Fed, okay? So, th so this, is, this is, he doesn't actually say exactly what date this, this came from, okay? But it's before, it's before the Fed. And um, so they have deposit accounts. Those deposit accounts are liabilities of these banks. To, to some extent, the Central Bank of the United States was the collection of banks in New York. You see how they have most of the deposits, and you're talking here about J.P. Morgan and his buddies, okay? And they're the ones who are doing international transactions. New York is very much the center where, where the United States banking system faces Europe. They're required to hold reserves in lawful money, um, and that means green pieces of paper, basically, um, uh, currency. Um, at least for these central banks, the, these banks in New York, Chicago, and St. Louis, and you can see that's how much they have, classification of reserve, um, lawful money in the bank, 218 million, 66, 26 there, and there's the percentages, 26.8% um, is in New York, 25%, they, they were required by law, he says, to hold 25% of their deposits in lawful money, so there's a, there's a reserve requirement. The second group, other reserve cities, so this is Boston, this is Chicago, not Chicago, um, uh, San Francisco, other important cities, Kansas City, um, that also ha are money center banks, but not as important as these other three, are also required to hold 25% reserves, but they can hold some of their reserves as deposits in New York, okay? And that's what that second column is there, due from reserve agents, okay? So there's this sort of layering, and then there's the country banks, okay, which are small banks, 6,000 of them, Okay, the United States had just lots and lots of little banks, um, which are, have to hold 15% reserves, and they can hold them partly in, in, in cash, 199 million there, and partly in other reserve cities or in New York. Okay, so that's 226 million. So there's, the, there's this layering where country banks are holding their reserves as deposits in their local money bank, okay, which is holding its reserves in New York, okay, which is holding its reserves in lawful money which is either green piece of paper or gold, I should, I should say, because it's the gold standard at this time. Okay, hierarchy, you can see that, 